now. It's running now. Here, wait, here. Wait, me, wait, it's wait. running now. Okay. It's running now. Take this one. Take this one. Take this one. Yeah. Now, when I came here, I changed wallets. I took a lot of shit and made my wallet thinner so I wouldn't get. I felt I didn't want to have a big fat wallet. It was so fat I could hardly open it. So I ended up with a wallet that was manageable. But then I thought, well, I'm going to meet. I'm going to be at the transgender. I thought it would be a transgender meeting of all these people. And I thought, well, I want to have a lot. I can flip out and I say, oh, here's one of my cards. And my card. And my card with all my information on it. With my bright pink wallet. My little folding wallet. You know what? Caitlyn Jenner wasn't there. What's her name wasn't there? What's her name? The one that stars in... Laverne Cox. Laverne Cox wasn't there. Only the people that run the movies were there. But anyway, so I never got to use my... I want you to record. I had my beautiful pink bottle to flip out. Now I have to admit that I changed personality so that new people knew me by this hat from, you know, political animal. And I changed my love tie to this because this heart does play off of these. Put the touches. Just try off of the heart socks. I went down to Vernon and I said, you like the heart socks or you like the superwoman socks? Because you know, I asked her on, gen I'm a queer, gender queer, right? She said, oh, she, the heart socks are better because I was wearing a heart tie on the side when I first photographed. And I replaced that with this while my friend who's filming going crazy with me changing costumes. I took off my, my, my militant Marsha hat replace it with the, the hat that most people will recognize me by with the famous cool American hat. And I also replaced this just had to say my love tie because I didn't want to mess it up. I went to the bathroom three times and I almost set it down in urine. So I ended up with this, right? And then what else did I did? I put on my my J pop stuff. And uh, oh yes, one last thing which I have to do. Since it was a, are you filming me? Yes, I'm watching? filming you. So, since we were going to a, I thought a party, which featured a lesbian couple, I put on this. This is a picture. This is a button from the annual reminder, 1965 to 1969, which calls me to be honored in Philadelphia. And on this button, you see Barbara Giddings and Kayla Hoosen, who are lesbian couple, who are my greatest supporters, and one of those I most love. Because I was hoping that this, this, I thought this party after the festival, I'd get to meet all these filmmakers and have serious discussions. You can't have a discussion, it's 150 decibels I, in there. I know what it was, they were booming music and loud, you know. You I cannot to, have so, a decent conversation. I agree, so that's why I ended up resorting to taking photos, still photos of anybody who was a photographer, or a, video, a filmmaker, or an actress, or whatever. So those are the pictures I have the people on us. Some of them were not, were either stars in movies. I said, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna put out, oh, expand. Photographers, filmmakers, uh, actors, actresses, I'm gonna put, say, photographers, filmmakers, etc. I have a, a, a group of stars, the group on Facebook with only two photos. I'm gonna move it to Flickr. I'm gonna make it international. So some of the people are there. Oh, I'm an actor, but I was in some independent movie or whatever. I think when I photograph you, they were thrilled to be photographed. I took with my flash photographer. I have people. I have no idea what their names are. I have no idea what <laughs> who they are, what movie they were in. I mean, it's got to be pathetic. What are we up to now? In minutes? What does it say on there? Well, how many minutes are we up to? Hold it, hold it, hold it. I got to put my glasses on. Right. God, he's got to put on his glasses. What kind of a... I'm blind. What can I say? How are you? Four minutes, 21 seconds, 22 seconds, 23 that's, seconds, 24 seconds. That's enough. That's enough. I think that's enough for this video. Okay, when and I can. I want to say that I want to thank you. Just make sure you get me with my beefed up. I put on my, my hat because one guy told me he came into the theater of a political animal and saw my sparkle hat. He said, I want to meet that guy. This hat is magic and I own two of them, right? And one I for each head. To, huh? One for each head. I have four hats. Oh, let me, oh, let's do this. This is fun. Let me show you since you suffered. You sat next to me as I went through the whole routine. Let me show you what I had 
This is unbelievable. I had, well, I had my water. I could have gone with my picture that's on in a very comfortable hat. No, I'm more like Jabba the Hutt. Huh? And I don't know what hat I'd wear with that. I mean, I could wear this hat. I actually wore a big flower hat at the Radical Ferry thing, but I said, these people aren't Radical Ferry, they won't appreciate that. So I didn't wear that hat. I showed you this hat, right? Did you yeah. that hat? And then I had a pink flower. This is a love tie I took off. I had all these buttons I was giving away to everybody. It didn't work out. This is the matching sock to the other. If I wanted to have matching socks, these are the heart dishes I would put things out in. These are the these are the underwear that I carry here that shit my pants. These are the thing. These are the things here. But anyway, I just want people to know how prepared I get. This is the transforming Randy Wicker 103 that I give the people and say, this is the Wikipedia version of my life. Michael and I have a big argument about this because he made it. He didn't want to put in that I was a prostitute. He didn't want to put in that I was a prostitute. Let me go above him and let me know. You know, he didn't want to talk to me about being a prostitute and how that was so effective. My life. Marsha was a prostitute. My son Louis was a prostitute. Keep your eye on that camera. And Eight I minutes, had, 30 seconds. Huh? How much? Eight minutes, 30 seconds. Okay, so I want you to know that I have thought of taking up fan dancing. Fan dancing is a fabulous art, but it's actually a martial art among the Japanese, and I just want you to understand, see if I can get it right. The way this works is you stand up with fan dancing, and you do this split. The trouble with that is they usually made in jujitsu. Hear that pop? Oh, I thought you farted. Right. So, and then in the videos I show you how you use a fan to hit a guy in the throat and bring him down. I wanted something that was pretty. I don't want the fan dance with, you know. With, Lucy Liu did that. Uh, Man with the golden fists. I know, I, but this goes back to the, the flow videos where people dance with fans. I have, I have two full videos where I'm not in the film dance. It's too goddamn complicated. And then outside of that, what is here? Uh, I'm just trying to just show you what I carry. This I stay warm, Jack, to go home. Anyway, I just want you to know that tonight I was hoping to get everyone to go home with one of these buttons. They wouldn't even they know about it because they couldn't right. even hear about it. I didn't have a chance. I thought it was going to be in the lounge at the study. You saw the lounge. Surprise, that we surprise. Into. Yeah. 
And I thought that's where it was going to be. And this is the heart, the heart, this was a pink ribbon I could wear instead of these. This is the heart dish I was going to put it in. This is the, how do I look at this word? How do you think I look at this word? Is it good or not? No comment. Oh. You're such a fucking heterosexual. Yes, man. I are. Yes, okay. I are. I'm so fucking straight. You, every, I'm on, straighter I'm than straight. I'm not against anybody. Thank you for your artist opinion. My I artist know. opinion. Huh? You should wear a red wig. Then you'd fit in with oh, the movie. I have a red wig. I don't want to go into that one. I was talking about George Heath about going out and working on... Of course, if you go in the East Village... To, to, it trap tranny people who were, who were heading on tranny. You, you know, if you go in the East Village, you got to wear a green wig. Oh, I met a guy with blue hair on the elevator. I said, I want to have blue hair. He said, go for it. I said, but I was really going to let my hair grow long and have black highlights stuck in among the gray. He said, oh, go for the blue. He told me to do something. Go temporary. for the blue. You think I should go for the... I want to go for magenta. You're not going to live forever. Go ahead. Huh? Well, I know that, but the whole thing is like, in the Dominican Republic, you, you can always cut it off. Yeah, that's true. Or well, recolor anyway, it. So, we're, we're probably near the limit now. I've got my goddamn show won't finish, I think. Huh. What are we up to now? What are we up to? 11 minutes, 30 seconds. That, cut it off right now. Thank you. Good night.